YouTubers to another Bleach chapter review, chapter 673, Father. Now, this chapter was mostly, it wasn't that much dialogue involved throughout this whole entire chapter. Now, what you can plainly see now, this chapter was more, I would say more of the case was more like a, like a father-son reunion, you could say, in, in this. Like in the, in the previous chapter, I believe it was called uh, Son of Darkness, if I remember correctly. But this was now called Father, so it's basically just that, just them literally just finally confronting themselves. You know, and throughout the entire chapter, you literally just see Ichigo and I would say uh, you walk. They're just basically just, I wouldn't say like conversating. It's more like they're just basically like basically just like talking smack saying, oh, you know, we finally made it, man. Welcome, welcome. I, I welcome you that you finally made it to me. You know, it's basically like they're like they're both kind like you walk was kind of acknowledging like acknowledging Ichigo as to say that you know like I, I'm glad that you finally made it to to be on my level of understanding and you know you're kind of here seeing that you know Ichigo here and they even showed uh, in this in a picture panel that Ichigo's strength is now it's so enormous that it it's based there's like it's all it's almost like like a living essence you can say because there was like some kind of bubbles and like spiritual re reishi around him and everything I thought that was pretty cool you know in my sense kind of kind of had like a Star Wars theme like I in in all honesty there was like a Star Wars thing going on here it was like Ichigo was Luke Skywalker and Yuwak was Darth Vader like legitimately throughout the whole entire chapter like that's what I literally felt like it literally felt like it was like the whole Star Wars when oh I am your father uh, Ichigo like throughout, throughout the whole entire, like, just that, that kind of vibe and mentality was going on right there. I'm just like, man, like, like, Tide Kubo is kind of, like, ripping off Disney right now for the moment. Or I should say, uh, Lucasfilms. Or whichever one of the two is, is on, on it these days. But, in all honesty, you know, you kind of also like the little conversation that they kind of have as well. As, uh, uh, what's it called? Your walk actually treats, uh, Ishin Kurosaki, Ichigo's actual uh, I would I would say biological father like like a little peasant that he is and you're just like what are like wow you know Ishin was actually pretty strong in his own terms of strength you know and he was if I remember correctly Ishin Kurosaki was um I remember from like a high clan as well like over there back in the Serite if I remember correctly the Shiba clan if I remember correctly which I think it makes Ichigo also I think like a distant relative if I remember correctly too but that's not that's not the whole chapter that's going on right now but continue on. You know, we actually also I like to, we also get to see is also the black and white contrast. You know, the good versus evil. I love how Tia Kubo did that kind of thing going on there in the essence. You know, Ichigo's blade is dark and but his reushu is actually like white. And while uh, you walk, you know, everything about him is just purely black and just dark gray shades you know you just want and even his reissue was actually all black and just like black ink splattered all over and while they were both conversing had like a yin yang reference right there as well you know i actually like that little art style that tita was going along there you know and i love the fact that when ichigo was fighting him you know it's so funny that throughout all these 700 and chapters after all of this ichigo still only has getsuga potential <laughs> as his main attack you know i'm here wondering i thought that, that ichigo might have done like a different attack but i guess because that's like naruto has his um rasengan goku has his kameha you know kurosaki ichigo kurosaki has his, uh, the gets a getsuga tensho that's that's his signature technique you know we're never gonna see any other techniques even with when he was using his both swords you know he was slicing and dicing through the ratio you know you're wondering like is he gonna yeah, I, when i actually thought that you know maybe he was gonna take out a new technique with when he took out the second sword you know all hopes was kind of like like rising for me as in that aspect like you know finally he's gonna use the second sword but no it's just use it to like to cut cut through it like it was like a bush right in front of him or something you know and that that that, that kind of like kind of threw me off a little bit in that chapter i was like oh man you know come on man you should go take take out a new weapon or something do something do something fun for once you know live on that edge you know nah but that, that that's that was basically it for this whole entire chapter you know you will literally see that just ichigo just fi he's finally continuing to walk and your walk actually is finally standing now by the by the way you know he actually is now gonna from the looks of it, he says that he's gonna give Ichigo the full front frontal power. 
And what I like about in this chapter is that Ichigo commented on the fact that, you know, Yuwak could see all his attacks at any moment. And, you know, Yuwak is kind of going on like, yeah, you know, I, I could see it all, but you, I could also see that you're also ready for it, too, at the same time. So it's now it's kind of more like a mind battle going on right here, too, at the same time, which is pretty cool and, and, and intensified because, you know, Ishin, uh, Ishin, I'm sorry, Kurosaki-kun and, and Yuwak are right now, like, basically just locking heads right now. And it's and it's great to see that Ichigo finally is attaining his his Quincy aspect as well. That's what I'm pro is probably wondering at too, because he's actually taking him on as a Quincy now, and not as a full blooded Shinigami. Or is he going to be using his Shinigami powers? One of the two. But you know, I like the way I see Yawak is now literally uh, acknowledging his strength right now. Because you know, back back when I remember uh, Yawak was taking down the elite guards. He, I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even think he kind of stepped in in the majority of the fight. He let most of his Stern Raiders take care of the elite guard too, if I remember correctly, and it was all off screen as well. So you're here wondering, like, man, Yoak is actually gonna take, uh, get a beat down by Ichigo himself. But like I said, oh, and let's not forget Orihime too. I forget, we can't, can't forget about her. She's still back to her regular shenanigans as well in this chapter, but at least she actually. Uh, what we can see is that her shield actually was blocking Yawak's attack. And now that now that says something, you know. It didn't really break, in a sense. You know, like, like it might have, like, deflected it. So there's still a possibility, like, from my previous theory that, you know, she might have some, like, time-traveling abilities going on there or something. You know, that, that that's personally my opinion. That's, that's why I think... And it's funny because... You walked in and didn't even acknowledge her throughout this whole entire chapter. She even, she even screamed out Ichigo, you know, as her usual routine. And Yuwak still hasn't said anything about her. Hmm. So his, his, all his eyes are on Ichigo. So that says something right there. That, you know, Orihime is not really... She cannot be as strong or... Or it's just not her time right now for a sense. But, you know, that, 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 just, that just says a lot of something right there going on there. But... Yeah, that's about it for this chapter, you know. Let me know what you guys think about this whole chapter, theories, comments. You know, write it down in, in the comment section. And also, if you guys enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe. But this is Mr. Zen, signing out.